Hi everyone, so I'm back again with yet another shopping haul. Um, I wasn't really having a really good day today, so I thought it's my last day off before I go back to work, so why not go and treat myself and splash out a bit. Not that I really need an excuse, as I'm sure you know by now. So anyway, let's get started. I bought quite a few things from various different shops, ranging from my favourite mecca of all time, Topshop. I went to H&M, went to Selfridges, went to Lush. So I think we will start with the Topshop, seeing as it's my favourite. So first thing I got from there was this sweater, which I saw this other woman carrying around, and I really wanted it myself when I saw it. So it is, let's get the label out of the way, it is basically just a sweater like this and the colour is as it looks uh, on the screen, it's kind of a, a weird peachy pink colour with black hearts all over it and it's a very largish kind of jumper, one of them baggy slouchy ones, kind of like the one that I'm wearing now which I normally wear to work to be honest but as I said I was having a bit of a down day today. So I thought I would perk myself up with this, which I'm very happy about, and my mum has already tried to steal. Hands off, mate. And, and I don't know if many of you know, um, depending on how old you are and which country you live in, back in the really late, late 80s, early 90s, when I was 8, 9, 10, maybe, uh, the fashion used to be to wear culottes. And culottes, for those of you who don't know, are like, it's like um, a skirt, but with short, they're shorts. So from a distance, they look like, it looks like you're wearing a skirt, but they're actually joined in the middle. And they are back in fashion, which I'm really happy about. But, so anyway, I got these today. So I really like them. So as you can see, wait, they are joined in the middle. There, so they are shorts but it's like a skirt so I won't have any overexposure moments and I'm really glad that these are back out actually that they're back in fashion and I can't wear to wear these with a nice pair of sheer black tights and a nice fitted top um, so this is like a very pale lilac colour with black dots all over it and four buttons so that's all I got in terms of clothes from Topshop and I also bought two pairs of sunglasses and I really like the cases they came in this one, sorry, this one, kind of reminds me of the Versace design. What do you think? Hmm? I will show you what they look like. Again, something else my mum tried to steal, but they don't suit her face. Luckily, most sunglasses seem to suit me. They've obviously still got the tags and stuff on. They're both aviators, two different types. They've got fingerprints all over them, which I need to clean. So these are the first ones. What do you think? So these are, oh you can see everything reflected, look, you can see my screen, hello. So these are like, um, kind of yellowish, yellowy greenish tinted, so I really like these, excellent, see my eyebrow. <laughs> and then the other one, which came in this lovely little package, are purple ones of exactly the same. Right, without the label. Oh, forget it. Yeah. What do you think? Cool, eh? Can't wait to wear them. Even though I know it's really cold outside, but it is still bright and sunny. And as you know, all the uh, spring summer stuff and that is out now at the moment, or is coming out. So I thought I would buy these. And I really like them. And I can't wait to wear them. I went to Selfridges and I don't know if a lot of you know I had a problem I bought NARS Sheer Glow Foundation um, at the end of last year in November they colour matched me wrong once in Liberty I went back again and complained so they begrudgingly colour matched me again twice wrong colour I looked orange so I complained to NARS online and their brand manager of Europe got back to me and said that obviously apologies apologies what I will do is I will set you up an appointment with our senior international makeup artist at NARS in Selfridges and I will make sure that they colour match you correctly, give you proper information, blah, 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 blah. That was in November. Now, it's February, finally managed to get down there and had an appointment 
And not only were they giving me the wrong colour, they were giving me the wrong kind of foundation as well. Apparently, sheer glow should only really be worn by people who've got combination or more normal to combination skin, whereas he said to me that I have got combination but bordering on the oily side, so sheer glow is not really good for that. Now, sheer matte, on the other hand, is perfect. And he actually did, I don't know if you can tell, probably not, he actually did my makeup for free, my whole face, other than my eyes, which I'd already done this morning. So I'm really liking the contouring he did as well. I had cheekbones. Anyway, so I got myself some NARS Sheer Matte Foundation in Barcelona. Funnily enough, Barcelona was the one that I was matched in Sheer Glow, but it turns out in Sheer Matte, Barcelona is a little bit darker, so it's perfect for NC42 skin. And I'm really liking the coverage that it gives the way that it feels on my skin and it's perfect if you've got bordering on oily skin or if you have got oily skin and the most exciting thing that he gave me was the brand new or he gave me a sample of the brand new NARS Orgasm Illuminator obviously you all know what um, orgasm looks like I believe that this or as he said to me was that this hasn't actually been released in the UK yet I'm not sure about the US but he said that this is coming out at towards the end of the month so what I'll do is I will use this um, over the next couple of days and I'll do a review on it as well so just to let you guys know whether it is worth buying when it does eventually come out because NARS products are not cheap I also went to Lush and bought my Herbalism which I've mentioned to you guys in my skin routine um, thingy mower video so I had to buy some more of that because mine's nearly run out and I also bought the bubblegum flavoured sugar lip scrub I think I've already shown you guys that I bought one called sweet lips um, what I'll do is I will do a separate review on these lip scrubs I believe that they have not been released in the US as yet they've been released only in the UK because obviously Lush is a UK based company um, I will say I am absolutely 110% impressed by these lip scrubs they're amazing and I was really excited about buying this one because it was sold out everywhere else and it smells just like candy floss it smells like snow fairy for those of you who don't know that comes out every Christmas it's absolutely stunning oh, I want to eat it eat it um, let's see what else what else, what else? Picture and m for some reason I ended up in there twice first time I went in there got myself a vest Marilyn Monroe she looks a bit weird but you know what she looks like I love Marilyn Monroe I love the fact that her earrings are actually little jewels you can see I love Marilyn Monroe thinks she's absolutely stunning love her movies love her this is the second t-shirt and um, this is a vest I own a t-shirt of hers as well pink one from H&M 2 so I was really excited to get that um, when I went back again I got these tights which are basically white with red hearts on them I also got two bangles just one red and one white and the most the coolest thing that I got from H&M was this top and let me just say now yeah it's huge it only comes in one size it's meant to be huge it's got skinny sleeves on it but the actual top is massive how cool is that it's pretty big though look how wide it is but I tried it on and it actually looks pretty cool and it will look cool with like a pair of leggings I actually thought that I would wear it with these tights and I've got these um creamy kind of creamy white shoes which have got a red heart on it I'm not sure if I've shown you guys those before that I thought that they would look pretty damn good with it along with the bangles and maybe my new glasses I'm just gonna wear these now for the rest of the video just to be annoying hey hey um yeah I think that's all I bought really I think that's enough don't you yeah um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my shopping haul for the rest of the month because I promise I am not going shopping again. I promise to do a next video to be a review on the Lush um, lip scrubs. 
and I will also do one on the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation. I have used Sheer Glow. I do have to say it is an amazing foundation, but I think that due to uh, Lollipop 26's review on uh, Sheer Glow Foundation, Sheer Matte doesn't seem to be getting quite as good rep as that one is. Um, I did really enjoy her review, and that was probably one of the reasons why I did end up buying it myself. But I think that maybe it's about time somebody did gave the Sheer Matte Foundation a shout out, and I think that will probably be me. So anyway, until next time, guys. Take care. See you later. Bye.